All right, guys, welcome to Vanquish Roundtable. I'm Austin. I'm Winston. I'm Emily. And today uh, we're just going to talk about our topic question to follow up on the last video, which was what was your favorite portrayal in an adapted movie? So if it was an adaption of a comic book or a book or anything like that, uh, what's your favorite portrayal of a character? And this video we're going to do what is the worst portrayal from an adaption. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. What's your what's your what's the worst portrayal you've seen from an adaption? For so many reasons, Topher Grace as Eddie Brock in <laughs> Spider-Man 3. It was so bad on so many levels. For one, um, I don't think he portrayed the personality of Eddie Brock as like, Eddie Brock's kind of like mentally disturbed and like, yeah, he does hate Peter Parker. I just don't think he did it right there. Eddie Brock is also portrayed in the comic books as just this huge, you know, crazy, you know, uh, physical specimen. He's just really buff and, you know, Topher Grace is Eric. From that '70s show, a character noted for his lankiness. So, like, <laughs> like granted, like granted, like he like you know bulked up a little bit for the role, but it was just not what what I liked, what I wanted to see from the character of Eddie Brock. And also, I guess you could double it. Like, I don't know if it, I think it's fault for Venom being so bad in that movie, but Venom was also like just not portrayed. I feel as though Venom should have been. I think Venom Venom is one of Spider-Man's one of my like, he's my favorite Spider-Man villain. Oh, yeah. So I thought that he was not portrayed very well in that movie. I think Tom Gray said that I was portraying him as I think it's just bad casting all the way and a bad um, delivery from Mr. Grace. So, Topher, Aww. if you're watching, <laughs> sorry, he did not do good. Yeah, you know, like Sam Raimi, he defends that casting as he wanted to do it as like what if someone who is just like Peter, who is like maybe a little less like like morally grounded, yeah. like how he would handle the symbiote. But I think the point of it is. We're supposed to see the symbiote on yeah. Peter to, to begin with. See yeah. how how you know he doesn't kill anyone, but he likes you know he he realizes what's going wrong before he does right. anything bad and he tears it off. And then it gets someone who's a total jerk like Eddie Brock, and he's you know he's ripped and he's just hostile towards people. And then you right. see how much worse it is in comparison. So mm -hmm. that's that's the whole point. Like that's yeah. why he's got to be this this contrasting person to Peter. Bad move, and so that's why I think it was a bad move. Also, mm -hmm. I want to mention you know that '70s show got horrible once. Topher Grace was cast as yeah. Eddie Brock because he couldn't be there and they had yeah. to do that weird thing oh, where they yeah. replaced him with I can't even remember yeah, what's yeah. his name. Africa. Yeah, so thanks yeah. for that also, yeah. Raimi. But uh <laughs> <laughs> you just really messed up everything with Spider-Man yeah. 3. Yeah. Jeez. But yeah. But yeah, what about you? What's your least favorite? Um, I didn't like what they did with Ozzy Mandius in the Watchmen movie versus oh. the, I liked him in the Watchmen book. Oh that's a writing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Like in the book he was he was supposed to be like this perfect man and like everyone looked up to him and like in the movie they like hinted that he was evil the whole time so I think that took away from like the sh like shock and, and he and he had a foreign accent too like like you know he's yeah. supposed to be like <laughs> Ameri German. like the all American guy or whatever in the comic and you know in the yeah in the movie he's just got this like Bond villain yeah. kind of <laughs> accent every scene but, with him is like dark yeah that I, I yeah that's yeah, that's yeah. and like I still love the character in the movie it's still it's yeah, still a fantastic yeah, I, I villain still, regardless yeah, yeah, I I but i do movie. think they kind of missed the mark with uh their portrayal that's the only thing wrong with that movie like, yeah, that I still yeah. <laughs> definitely agree with that yeah. okay mine I, I mine would be eddie brock and spider-man 3 because that was like i'm yeah. a huge venom fan and that was just so hard to watch but uh, since you already took that one, I'm going to go ahead and do one that doesn't get brought up a whole lot, and that's Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. I know, I know. Like, <laughs> I want to hear what you have to say. Okay, first of all, it was not even close. It's not close it to Bane. It was not, not even close. That's fair. And it was so, like, cartoony. Like oh his voice, God. he That's sounded, cool. he's, oh. yeah, yeah. He hurts her, you know? and, like just so much inflection and he's just so like, like I thought I was, you know, after, after how grounded and like dark and real the Dark Knight felt and then to have Bane come in with his like big furry coat and, and he's doing all this really elaborate stuff where he like locks down yeah. Gotham entirely <laughs> And he, you know, gets up on a mountain and has a live news report where he's just he's just talking like some Looney Tunes villain or something like that. You know, I just I just it just didn't work for me. You know, I I know yeah, and everything you're saying is right. Like I know that. But like that scene in the beginning where like he's like 
for you. He was like, it'd be very painful for you. Yeah. I'm like, this is going to be a great movie. I yeah. saw it three times in theaters because of Tom and, Hardy. And I, I did I, too, but it was not for the same reason. It yeah. was because I was having such a hard time accepting that's yeah. what Bane was. I was like, this was not yeah. what I yeah. Bane, thought Bane would even, Yeah, Bane even in the comics is, uh, is a, uh, I think, Mexican. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's, he's, like he's like Luchador, yeah, like Yeah, he's like a Luchador type person anyway. Yeah. So like, it's a bad portrait. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, it's a bad portrait. I, but, like, I think that the the worst that's that was why I liked it so much. Like, I'm just like, yeah, it was just so like I, I didn't expect it, and like the more I watched, the more I was like, that that's not right. I thought I misheard that, yeah. but it's still going like that. And um and yeah and like there wasn't even the use of venom like which was, I thought was weird like venom, yeah as in the, right, the, the right, as in yeah the, the, the stuff the that he uses that he used, yeah yeah so that was kind of dis- disappointing but that that's well, not much to do with the portrayal but more the writing well but yeah yeah well then, that's a good point you know uh, that, that's just all the reasons I liked it but I guess that's just because I just I thought that was like so silly like just so ridiculous and then but yeah yeah we were right that was a poor portrayal of the character but guys <laughs> let us know in the comment section who you think did like their worst portrayal of a adaptive screenplay you know it could be comic book it could be like we we didn't do any like actual books we did some graphic novel comics yeah. this time but it, could, but it can be for anything just let us know what you think in the comments below and uh be sure to watch our last video which was what was the best portrayal of an adaption yeah. uh in case you missed it and leave your comments there too and uh be sure to like and subscribe and all that and we want to thank our sponsor top end gaming if you're in the muscle shoals area go check them out they got games they got comics they got it all so you know just just check it out and uh thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see you next time. And we'll see you next time. Have a nice day. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.